So we are here in a coffee shop having a nice coffee uh, today's morning. So we are doing this video here. And I know the first thing is, you know, are you ready to go back to the state? And the answer to that is... So it is March and we completed our second year living here in Dominican Republic and we're here to give an update and I know that most people want to know are you tired of living in the Dominican Republic? When you're going back to the state, are you tired to be scanned all the time? So we are here to talk about all that and we are going to start with the cost of living. So what about our cost of living? Our cost of living haven't changed that much. When I did my first video, in our first anniversary, uh, our cost of living monthly was 2,050 US per month. So right now we are staying in a 2,150. So it went up about $100 per month. So why did it change? Why it went up oh, about $100? And the reason is because some extra curricular activities that we add to our day-to-day -day life. In one of them, it is my gym. So in our first year anniversary, my husband's personal trainer was in there. So but we switch. Now he's going to the gym, which is, it went down a little bit, but I added my gym. So it went up a little bit and my daughter, uh, gymnastic class. So we added to the gymnastic class. It's some, that's some of the reasons they went up. But we also have some other things that went down, like utility. I remember in the, our first year, our utility was remaining 10,000 pesos almost 11,000 pesos, but right now it has been staying between five and 6,000 pesos, which have changed very considerably and good for us. What about rent? Rent is still, is still the same. I know that when you sign a contract here, most of the time they add in the, in the year contract, that the, the rent can go up every year, but it haven't changed for us. So our rent is still 1,200 a month, and we are gonna renew our contract next month for another year so let's hope that the rent is stay the same and what about something else that went up is our health insurance and that is something that here they say they go up every year and they kept the word on that one so our health insurance went up about 35 dollars per month so on health insurance we were paying about 130 dollars so now right now it's about 165 per month so everything is still the same we still have our cleaning person that we pay around 165 dollars per month and she comes three times per week just to do cleaning so we are still that and it's still the same and i know 2150 sounds like a lot for some people but still if you wanted to leave it goes down some expenses you can like let's start with rent like if you wanted to go to rent to to cut our living expenses, we could. Uh, either if we want to stay in the same area, we could choose another apartment. It probably go down in about three hundred dollars. Uh, but we would choose a smaller place. Our apartment is big, so it costs us around that much. And if you want to really, really to cut in some significant number, let's say like half of the rent, then you would, if you choose to get out of that area, let's say go to more a middle class area then you will be able to cut like in half of rent. And remember, it's also some other expenses that we don't have to pay if we don't want to, that we choose to like. My husband and I gym, we don't have to pay that. We could we exercise the gym that is in the building up there, but it doesn't have all the equipment that you use, so we choose to go outside our apartment building. Uh, my daughter, she doesn't need to go to gymnastics class, but we that's something we choose. I don't need to have a cleaning person. I can do the cleaning myself. But those are things that we choose to have and that's why we pay that much every month to live here. So keep in mind that when we was living in Florida, we was paying $2,200 just for rent. And that was two years ago. So you know, there, every year, rent go up. So $2,200 over there just in rent and $2,100 here with everything included, that kind of makes sense for us. So now let's give you an update on how do we make money. Yeah, I know a lot of people is asking this question, like how do you pay $2,100 to live there? Do you guys work in a call center? Do you work in La Sirena? What do you do to make this kind of money to pay for your expenses there? Uh, so let's talk about that. And we are still making money the same way that we did in our previous video when it was our first year anniversary. And we make money online. 
me myself. I make money through my YouTube channel. I do a lot of consultations. Thank God, and I'm very grateful. And the people they always reach out to me to do a consultation. Um, that's one way that I do money. So last year I provided a lot of consultation for people that was looking to move over here. I was looking some type of information about investing, moving, and things of that nature. So this year I'm continuing to do the same. I am very blessed. So if you need any consultation, just check the information down below. And the way that my husband makes money, he provides social media services for clients. And because he used to do human resources when he was living in Alabama, he provides also HR uh, services for clients as well. So another way that we make money is through our businesses. We started our Airbnb management last year. We own a couple houses in Alabama that we collect train, and we also started our construction management, and we are building our first project in Sosua, so that leads me to our next point, an update in our business. So let's start with what we have going on here in Dominican Republic, and it is one of it is our Airbnb management. And last year when we started, we started with one property. Then we went all the way up to 13, and then we went back down to eight. And I did a video, the reason why we went down to a few properties and what we cut down on that. But just to give you a general idea of how the business is doing, at the beginning it was a little challenging, like trying to put everything in place, find a cleaning company that you can work with, trying to find everything that you need, people that provide services when you need maintenance and things of that nature. But now, then after a while, it started getting, everything started getting settled and pretty much right now it's very stable. You know, it's a system for everything with the business going up and down and good, but overall, it is good. And I know you're asking, are you making, or the Airbnb is making any money? Some properties are, some other are just okay. And the reasons can be many different things that we don't know for sure yet. I mean, it can be the area, the city, the time of the year. That's something that we are not for sure yet because we, since we started last year, it was our first year. We haven't been able to see any trends at the moment, but let's see how it goes this year. That way we can know uh, or have a better idea, understanding of how the team works. So going to our other business, which is a construction management. As you know, I got a deal last year with one of my subscribers to build her house in Sosua. So pretty soon I will give you an update of how that construction is going. So hopefully this year we get a few more deals that way we can keep growing the company. And moving on to the properties that we own in the United States, we own three properties in Alabama, one in Huntsville, two in Mobile, the generate income for us. Right now, well, lately, me and my husband have been talking about sell those property, invest some of that money here, but that is something that we are still thinking about and we haven't decided anything yet. So let's see what happens. So now let's move on to our last point it is how do we feel living in here in Dominican Republic? And let's talk about how I feel right now. And I feel great. I know that we don't regret, but right now I have to talk how I feel. I don't regret moving back here to Dominican Republic. And this is our home space for a moment. We ain't thinking to go back to the state. We ain't thinking to go to any other place, not for a moment. That doesn't mean that in the future can change if you decide to do something else. Who knows? But right now we are very grateful. We feel great over here. Um, the, I would say they oh you don't like United States you had no that is not the case we still have attachment family we still like the United States uh, we was even talking one day they probably get a property that when we feel spend some time over there we can and spend some time here that way we can do that but right now this is our home base so I know that you are asking yourself was it hard for you guys to adjust or at least for me to readjust and for him to adjust here me being over there living for so long and then he just being from America and the reality, not for me, it wasn't hard for me to readjust and for him to adjust. Of course, there are certain inconveniences in the United States that you miss, either you miss over here, but they are no deal breaker to him or me. Like for example, my husband went back to the state uh, like a month ago. And the only thing that he was able to send me is a picture, a whole bunch of snacks that he was happy to find over there in the state that he's not able to find it over here. And he was very happy about that. <laughs> But like I say, this, this is not a deal breaker. It is something that you probably miss from over there that we are able to get it when we go back to visit or when we decide to go and spend some time up there. All in all, everything has been great. We don't regret it. We want to continue growing our home base here. And we, ha we have some plans on this that we want to work this year. 
hopefully everything will work out so this is all what i have for right now thank you for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next one bye so it is march and it's our second year living here in dominican republic so it's about that time when i do my our second year upgrade upgrade no upgrade uh update okay how is our experience here in the dr and we are going to start with something that most people want to know and it's worried about no i think that was too raggedy okay in this question how do you make money how are you able to pay this 2100 dollars um do you work in a call center you work in last city and over there so so what we continue with that so the, another way that we make so another way that we make money is to our businesses. Like you know, last year we started our managing. At first it was a little challenging, you know, trying to get everything in place, like the cleaning, the companies they provide. And hopefully this year we can get many more. That way we can give you, no. That way we gain what you said all in all everything has been great we don't regret it and we as all in all everything has been great we don't regret it um no then what was that after that we don't regret it uh we 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 are continuing we want to keep growing okay